Sure. So the the drive ETF is my juicy play, and I'm, I think John Nigerian is going to be behind me on Hello? this one. But basically, looking at where you can play that tech space. And I think this autonomous vehicle, the electric vehicle space, investors showed a ton of enthusiasm about in 2021. Regardless of whether we get fiscal spending or not, this continues to be a huge growth area. And I think it's a growth area that you can put your money in regardless of where rates are going. So we're seeing a ton more competition in the space that's good for consumers. I think there's gonna continue to be appetite for these names. And that's not just the cars, that's the components, it's the technology behind the vehicles, it's the whole space in general. So it's a very well diversified ETF. When we look at Europe, I think, talk, and I know this yeah, is a little bit Europe. contrarian. Yeah, a little bit contrarian. So when you look at Europe, I chose this particular ETF because I would start with Europe if you need to start dipping your toes into international. And Europe, I think, starts to come back maybe spring, summer this year, and then has a nice second half. They've obviously been held down by bigger COVID concerns than we were held down in the U.S., but I think they start to recover, and there's a revival, especially in travel and especially in the consumer. Biggest sector in this ETF is consumer discretionary, and I think there's a nice opportunity there. The, uh, the next one, your final uh, individual pick, is the S&P 500 low volatility. That's the SPLV. Yeah, so a couple different reasons for this one. There are a lot of investors who are looking to hedge their portfolios, take some beta off the table, but they can't quite find it in themselves to go into bonds yet or go into cash. So I would recommend starting to readjust into some lower volatility options. This particular ETF is the 100 stocks that have exhibited the lowest vol over the last 12 months, and it reconstitutes quarterly. It's a good option in times when I think we're gonna continue to see whiplash. You don't wanna have the stocks that are gonna participate in all of that whiplash on the up or the downside.